that someone other than that is letting me sit in their lap. <laughs> no, no, he did it. He said it. He said the thing. Oh, 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 no, fair. How come Azul gets to go have fun without me? That's messed up. <laughs> Oh, I'm in such high spirits, by all means, cry about it. Oh! My age weren't Floyd and throwing a tantrum? No! <laughs> what do you mean? Suit yourself. I'll be doing final checks on my luggage. Oh my god, Azul does not care. He's like, yeah. In your faces. I'm going. Suck it. <laughs> Man, this blows. Maybe it'd help if I busted up the lounge while you're away. Oh! Oh! Okay, I'll go over it again. Owls are on the second shelf. Your cone? Is in the box beneath that, next to the hair dryer. Uh huh. <laughs> oh, there's medicine for headaches and stomach issues in the first aid kit. All the other medicine is in the chest of drawers, top drawer. I put out some spare soap, but if you need more, it's in this box here. Okay. Oh, and if it suddenly gets cold, your comforter and warm pajamas are in the storehouse. You're, are you really gonna be okay on your own for three days? Don't be such a worry war, Jamil. Nothing's gonna happen. And if something does happen, the rest of the guys in Scarabia will be here to help. It'll be fine. Well, I did issue the whole dorm a manual on what to do during any unforeseen events, but still. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, let's get over it one more time. Towels are on the second shelf. <laughs> Again? Oh, Vil, I implore you to forgive me for leaving you alone in such a way. I leave you this flower, ere my departure. I'll return by the time this bud blooms. Please, keep it, and do not forget me. So dramatic. <laughs> no! I don't want to go to a stupid social and sell any last thing I want to do! I've done a lot of lottos for merch over the years, but this is the first time I want something I didn't even want! Oh, I want it with the great fun! But I'd be just as happy if you made a new friend from another school at the social. Aww, Ortho. Wait, I almost agreed without thinking. But that's kind of a tall order, you know? I don't even have any friends here. <laughs> that's so sad. Um, well, just try to make any friend then. Even someone from the <laughs> It's LOL-tastic, just how pointless going to another school is. LOL-tastic, wow. It's okay. Yeah, it's gonna be okay- Hmm? <laughs> it's okay. It's not a social. <laughs> um, idiot, are you listening to me? It's okay. It's a solo trip. Everyone else is just baggage. It's not a social. Not a social. <laughs> oh my god, he's having a panic attack. <laughs> Actually, when I informed Nobel College who would be attending, they specifically requested your presence. We positively must have the renowned mage Mali Sircorni at the social, they said. Hmm. Only a head mage of your caliber could nurture such a great and powerful mage, they added. Oh, okay. <laughs> he totally did that. Yeah, Crowley definitely did that. Wakasama! My word, it's like a dream, and yet it's so very real to think there's an entire outside of Briar Valley that does justice to my legion charm. Flair City has earned my praise. Um, thanks? <laughs> Come, Silver. I have nothing to say? I couldn't get a word in. You look truly handsome, Malleus. That sentiment is appreciated. Thank you. Malleus, I am far more awestruck than Silver. Is this a competition? Hello? Like... <laughs> Zebek, maybe rein in a little bit. You look like you're going to pass out from overexcitement. <laughs> I was just thinking. Maybe the goat saw Malice's horns and thinks he's one of them. <laughs> no! You know said what I was thinking. One of them? <laughs> Wretched goat! How dare you! You presume to treat my liege as one of your brethren? You pitifully horns are nothing to compare to his! Oh god. Oh, what the hell? Now you're leaping and bounding about! Get back here! You shall pay for your insolence! No way he's chasing it.
<laughs> Don't chase it. What part of we treat them with care did you not understand? <laughs> I apologize for his appalling lack of manners. Look, the good topic just out of Sebek's reach. Is it teasing him? It doesn't fear me at all. What an amusing creature. I like it. What? <laughs> that you go? You go to your place. What what is the content? I don't I don't know if the context will make this better. With the bench seating, there's enough room for six people at each table. Very well. You, come join us. You could stand to learn more about this world. Then I shall join your table as well. I'd like to hear your thoughts and everything. Oh, okay. Uh, sure. Hey, I'm sitting next to my henchman. Someone's gonna look up. Shh, Grim, shh. Oh. Is that right? Then I shall sit next to you, Grim. I trust you won't mind. <laughs> now hold on! Hold it! I would also like to sit at my liege's table, and here's inside. Sit elsewhere, Grim, and I shall take your place. That will make six. You're not the boss of me! I don't really care where I sit, but I don't like your tone. So now, nah, I ain't moving! <laughs> Have you no appreciation for what an honor it is to sit next to the great Malleus? That seat is wasted on you! Oh my gosh, jeez. Yikes, here we go, another endless circle argument over something completely trivial. Might I join your table? I'd enjoy the chance to chit-chat with you all. There's not enough space, however. Oh, that's an easy solve. Grim can sit in Yu's lap. Oh, okay. <laughs> Don't say it to Beck, please don't say it. Aw oh, man, I don't want to be stuck on someone's lap. Well, uh, we, you can always sit with me. <laughs> Dude, oh god, idiot. Beck is giving me the heebie jeebies. Sounds like an even worse option. Holy crap. <laughs> really, back, idiot. My word, I haven't even thought of that option. Well, why did you speak up when I wanted that seat? Because he wanted to preserve his hearing. Obvious. <laughs> I bet that someone other than that is let me sit in their lap. <laughs> no. no, he did it. He said it. He said the thing. Are you aware of how tall you are? For real, isn't he like the second tallest or something? Hmm. I suppose you have a point there. Then you can sit in my lap, Azul. <laughs> how desperate are you? Absolutely not. <laughs> Magic is such a troublesome thing. Wouldn't you agree, you? Um, well, it did bring me here, so... Also the overblots, so... Yeah, yeah, I kinda agree. I can only imagine how arduous it must be to spend your days surrounded by a gaggle of rambictionous, foolhardly mages. Oh, oh! He's, he's bad-mouthing in front of us?! Okay, 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 wow! The world would be much better off without magic and the chaos it brings. Surely you must have had similar thoughts? Um, uh, not really? I'm pretty used to it. <laughs> You're used to it? Oh, you poor thing. I can't blame you for being numb to the absurdity after spending every day swimming in it. Oh, this is different. This is different. I don't know. I don't know how I feel. I kind of like Rolo now because he's like, I don't I don't remember the last time someone sympathized with us because we're like magicless and had to deal with near-death experiences and overblots. Mages use their magic to lead people astray and cloud the eyes of the virtuous public. It's a sad state of affairs, but worry not. That state of affairs shan't last much longer. Uh-huh. Wait, no, wait. I Guys. I think Rolo's- Guys, Rolo- Rolo's gonna do something. Watch out! Everybody, get back! Oh, shoot! <laughs> Wrong sitting! Oh no! He fell defending us! Uh-oh. Rolo must be happy. <laughs> back at home. For, for no apparent reason. He's wondering why. <laughs> oh, shoot! Guys, fly! Fly, please! You have magic, fly, please! Oh no, I'm falling. Help! Oh my god. Near-death experience number 10. Help! Please! You! <laughs> oh god. There we go. Oh, we, we just- we just- we just straight up died? Okay. Oh, what? Someone help. My family's covered in red flowers and they won't wake up. Oh my god. Wow. No, this is this is a different level type of evil. Like no no overblotter did this. Oh. Oh, there's flowers behind Malleus. Malleus, get away. 
Why is he screaming now? What? How it is? Now I see. Everything he said was a lie. Oh. Oh, this is very bad. <laughs> shoot, what happened? Malice is angry. Oh, shoot, he's smiling and he's angry. Oh, I don't want to mess with him. Everybody stand back. Ploy to lure me into a trap. You'll pay for this. You will pay, Rolo Flam. Oh, jeez, he is big mad. Now's not the time to be goofy! <laughs> English localization, I love you. I love you so much. There, you see? Remind me, who's part of the silly notion that he was a sucker who felt guilty? Oh, Roy, these dragons. What an anguish cry he has. It makes my own heart tremble. Uh, I don't think that's your heart trembling. It's literally the ground. Naz was overjoyed to be personally invited to the social. Yes, and he eagerly counted down the days until our trip by marking them on his calendar. We're in mortal danger and that's what he's mad about? I thought I had been issued a genuine invitation. You shall pay dearly for this. Yeah, it's over. We cannot allow one man's nonsense to deprive those young students of their futures. We have to do something. I don't know, I mean, I personally couldn't care less about what happens to the world sword. Rocky! Yeah, they kind of brought it on themselves. We can just go home right now. You fools! Don't you realize why you're still even standing? Because Royal Sword Academy students sacrifice themselves so you could make it out unscathed to think that you would turn your backs on them so easily. I... I... Oh... Where did I go wrong in teaching you? We have destroyed this man in like one day on this field trip, bro. You won't care what dirty tricks we pull, right? What? Dirty tricks? What do you mean by- Oh! I get it. You're gonna take advantage of the case and swipe some valuables from the college. <gasps> oh no! Guys! No! We're drowning in fire lotuses and all you can think of is money? Good grief, listen up! Hello! Is anyone out here? Hey! Hey, over here! Thank goodness we found someone! Yeah, seriously, I'm so glad you're both okay! Oh, those are Night Raven College students! <laughs> I'm glad you're alright! Looks like you got away from the... Flowers? Huh? Oh! Ah! A whole swarm of flowers! No! Stay back! Yeah! They're gonna scare us! Oh dear! I'm so sorry. The flowers that were chasing us are now focused on you. I guess now we're all in the same boat! And since we're such good friends, you won't mind helping us a little, right? Thank you for your cooperation, Snake Charmer. <laughs> Let's do this together! Laugh with me! What in the world? My hands are moving on their own. I want to run, but my body's trying to fight. What's going on? Hey, a little help here? Uh oh. Stop responding. Uh, hello? Can you hear me? Why are you just staring like that? Yes, master. I will fight the flowers. Wait, you're gonna fight now? But you wanted to run before! What a dependable ally you are. Come, let's take these flowers out together. Rolo Flam's diary? Ha <laughs> ha! A hidden diary that's never allowed to see the light of day? <laughs> I bet it's filled with dark, embarrassing secrets, and that he'd totally cringe if anyone knew him. Yo! <laughs> LOL, now I'm hype. I gotta read this, LOL. I suppose if it this contains material that would be damaging to him, it would behoove me to know it. I can't afford to expend much more energy. Perhaps the person in front could climb a little faster. Shroud, you're lagging. Run faster. <laughs> yeah! Malice pushed me from behind. He's powerful. I'm really ticked off. I'm so scared I can't look back. <laughs> Believe me, the spirit is willing, but the legs are soft and squishy. <laughs> oh. What's the matter, Malice? You've been staring at the gargoyle in silence. Considering your enthusiasm for them, I thought you would be jumping for joy by now. Oh no! No, 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 no. You got it all wrong. From Malice's perspective, the object of his hyperfixation just revealed a completely unexpected side of itself. It's possible he got a reality whiplash and he's like, The gargoyles I love don't move! Isn't it accurate to my headcanon? 
Hello? Can you hear me? Oh my god, he's just... He really is just standing there. <laughs> oh. Oh! Apologies. I was so awestruck it left me in a daze. <laughs> Malleus, huh? Sure, put him right there, pal. Oof! The moment the guard guy called him pal, Malleus clutched his such Pain <laughs> <Game> exclamation! <laughs> Yeah, that's a classic fanboy thing right there. He's so happy he physically hurts, like, oof, ow, right in the feels. What's Tanty? I can't- hold on. Australian slang? It's Austra Australian? <laughs> what? Australia. They made Trey and Riddle into British people, and it is Australian? <laughs> Both of you, get down. Oh! Shoot. I'm so grotto! I'm so sorry. Malleus. Dude, are you kidding? Do you believe for a minute Azul will go out of his way to shield you? <laughs> what? <laughs> Both brother and Malleus! This is Azul Ashengoda we're talking about? A guy whose whole brand is about being greedy, miserly, underhanded, and ruthless? <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is just the moment I've been waiting for. What? You're still standing? Ashen Grotto, you're safe? Oh, uh oh, oh! It's time to pay up! Oh, you're in for a world of hurt! Double down! <gasps> oh. ah. I'm sure you have misgivings about surrendering your most prized magical possession, but. Okay, I'm down. <laughs> huh? <laughs> that was alarmingly quick. Did you even consider I might be scamming you? <laughs> <laughs> Even as I was like, hold up! Are you sure you want to trust me? Oh. Oh. Ah, you're one of the Bell Tower gargoyles. I wondered who Malice was looking for, though I cannot fathom why he came to check on you. Well, see. It's kind of a fandom thing for Malleus. Fandom? I don't follow. <laughs> you know, we're actually always up here. You can talk to us if something's bothering you. Oh. <laughs> You'd ask me to talk to a rock? Ridiculous. <laughs> Menacing glare. <laughs> I'll think about it. <laughs> as long as you, all of you are happy, Mal is as well. <laughs> Mal? <laughs> Did he just refer him to himself as Mal? He's so happy he's breaking character! Given what these guys just said, and with Riddle's group looking all happy, there's no way we can tell any of them the truth. We've managed to run all night using a bunch of Nobel College students. We shall heave you both in the air in the honor of your exploit! <laughs> do it, do it, do it, do it, do it! Yes! Can we not? I don't get anything out of that! Leo always says in it, Ariel Toss is the best way to honor bravery. We shall abide by his teachings and reward you both properly. Azul, I hope you kept your promise and got Rolo good. Of course, I upheld my end of the deal with a superb blow. I hope you enjoy this evening as much as I plan to. I'll just be on my way then. Uh <laughs> huh? Wait, hold up, Azul! Give me my magic back! <laughs> <laughs> that was a joke, I assure you. The next time you sign a contract, do your due diligence and make sure you're not getting taken for a ride. Yes, sir, I'll s be more careful, as you should be. You should stand to be a little less trusting. Of course, I'm entirely trustworthy. You may sign indiscriminately when it's one of my contracts. <laughs> oh, really? Well, I guess you did just give me back my spell without any fuss. No, Deuce, no! You wanna do book three all over again, Deuce? Is that what we want? Wait, human! Maz told me of your deeds. <laughs> you thwarted a Rolo with superior logic and soundly chastised him. <laughs> yes, you may be a twisted, irksome human, but I suppose even a broken clock is right twice a day. Way to start with a compliment before going straight for the dunk. Look, I don't need this. Just leave me alone. We aren't so rude to ignore those deserving of proper credit. Uh oh, are they gonna throw him in the air? <laughs> Yeah, modesty is a virtue and all, but you can take it too far. You deserve to celebrate your accomplishments. Ooh, sounds like this calls for an air top, huh? You know, 
I think you're onto something, human. Passing me into the air? On another school's main street? Nope. The hardest possible nope. Let's do it, Sebek. You get his legs. Oh god, the other guys are gonna do it! Good evening, everyone. Ah, why does it mean this? You're here as well. I see the glow has returned to your cheeks. I'm truly relieved that you're hale and hearty. Why did Rook back up? <laughs> Bill say something to him? The humans here will surely pass down the tales of his magnificent visage to their descendants for all eternity. Could you someone please do something about the Draconia Turbo Simp? <laughs> he said simp! He said simp! Let's go! Now, would you care to dance with me, Rollo Flam? Oh, sure. <laughs> with you, I'll pass. I'm not a very avid dancer. And besides, you're rather popular tonight. There are many people here who would love to dance with you. Go find someone else. Uh-huh. You would refuse a request from your own guest. Fine. If you insist. Your hand. <laughs> They're actually dancing. Rollo is just straight facing this, and Mally's grinning from ear to ear. <laughs> I love this. This is so awkward, but Mally does not care. He's eating this up. But I feel like I'm third wheeling just watching this. I know we're focused on dancing, but you're still rather quiet. I'm imagining a scenario where your smug expression turns to one of despair. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Rollo, please. <laughs>